Welcome to the game guys, it's Cardinal Smith and this is our Let's Play Football Manager 2013 and it's a big game today. It is the Northern Irish Intermediate Cup Final against Banbridge versus Lurgan Celtic and it's going to be at the Crusaders Ground Seaview and this is the, this could be Banbridge's second um, Intermediate Cup in their entire history. They won one previously and that was back in 1986. Um, it, just a quick catch up in the recent fixtures. Played quite a few games. We're five points clear in the league ahead of Queens. There are another four points ahead of against Wakehurst and, uh, and uh, those are the only real challengers right now. I had a, a league defeat. Um, well, let's see. Let's take it one at a time. So we, Queens we did beat 3-2 in a close game and that's Kingsbury getting an important goal and Mark Kelly back in scoring form picking up two then we played Portadown who were second in the Premier Division in the Mid Ulster Cup Final really proud to get there but um, really bad really bad day um, some poor performances some fairly good performances um, Lee McGarry picked up a light injury but we lost 3-0 the, the, the golf in class was pretty obvious Next up, away to Lurgan Celtic, our cup finalist today. Mark Kelly picking up an injury. Johnny McSorley getting a rare two goals and Kingsbury getting the score sheet again. Uh, Glebe fitness was a real issue for this game. Uh, I don't like making excuses, but we were 2-0 down. On top of that, Sean Southam was sent off in the 39th minute for two bookable offences, which I thought was a bit early and a bit harsh by the ref. Doesn't change it. Glebe came back at us and got their two goals. Lowly lower, lowly lower me is got uh, thumped by us. Just about everyone getting the cold sheet. Kingsbury again. Garley. Mark Kelly again. Stephen Campbell, another one. Alan Neal coming off the bench to get one of his first of the season. But today it's all about Intermediate Cup Final Day. And I am going to be playing what I think is my strongest team. Now, fitness is an issue. You know, Curtis Woods here, he plays every game. He's looking to rest. Um, but I, I just, I want this trophy, so I'm not going to be sacrificing any, anything, you know, to get it. Uh, so let, let's just get straight into it. Let's get to the CV pitch and get stuck into learning. So this will be the third time the season we'll have played Lurgan. I'm not playing Mark Kelly to start with. He's, his fitness is pretty low, but I do have him on the bench. I will be bringing him on later. And McNallan's winning the ball there, and Sleen's play it through. And Carly, the Clark is free. Clark's free. He plays it through to Hughes, though. He was free in a shot and played it through to his left for Hughes. He knocks it wide. Thank goodness that keeps us at nil-nil. So Morley Hillen plays it through to Ferguson, but he's under pressure there. Uh, so Lurgan still like really pushing us, uh, where we tend to stand off a bit more. So Kingsbury and Spears passing it between themselves. Spears needs to pick up Hampton. Kingsbury is cutting inside now, but a really poor ball. Tries to play it through to, to Wilkinson. Doesn't get there. Now, Cobb needs to win that ball. No, they play it through to Hughes. Kyle can pick out a pass. McNallan lost the ball well over. Marley Hill is going to pick that up all day long, I hope. But he does on this occasion. That's what's important. So Spears, let's try this again. Spears. You going to play to Hampton? No, he's going to play a long ball up to South and doesn't get there. Hampton does get the header though, but he doesn't win the rebound and Kai's through. And that's suspected and has been coming. Kai scores. And that is a warning message to the team. This is a cup final. There are expectations on you. There's going to be a bigger capacity crowd that one that Banbridge won't be used to. And you've got to step this up, lads. This is a cup for the taking. Alright, Spears and Cobb, another power ball by Spears. And uh, Hampton out on the left wing there trying to help out Spears. Like, sorely, everyone seems to be on the left. Wilkinson way back here needs to pick out a ball, but he goes a run shot from like 25 yards. But uh, Fox in the Lurgan net is going to pick that up. So, free kick for Lurgan. Slane's here in for a shot off the inside of the post. Ferguson needs to clear. And that's another let off for Banbridge. Connor coming in here from Clark. Headed away there by McSorley. Ball's out of play. And they're taking their time about it. And we're under a lot of pressure here from Lurgan early on. 
Wood's getting a touch on, not quite enough, and uh, packing out the box. But you know, Campbell's got a chance now to break. Campbell on the pace. Can he pick through a good ball? Plays out sides him out wide. He's got a man on. Needs to pick out a pass himself. Plays to Woods. Crosses the ball in. Isn't good enough. Doesn't get pat. Doesn't reach a band big player. And now he's out of possession. Leaves Beckett out wide. But intercepts. Great tracking back from Woods. That's why he plays week in, week out. But not pleased by that pass. And that's offside all day long. You can flash all you like. That's offside. Are you joking me? Somehow that goal counted and we are 2-0 down and that is totally undeserved. That is shameful refereeing. Um, so now we have it all to do. Long ball through Wilkinson, far too much. I have no idea why we are playing these long balls from the back. Uh, I mean we have midfielders. Make use of them. McSorley, I, I'm looking at you. Picks out a pass to Wilkinson, dropping deep at the halfway line again. But a good ball through to Wilkins, Southam, and Southam puts it in the net. And that's the first time I've seen any intent from this team in this match. And it gives us just, just a slight hint of able to get back in this game. 35 minutes gone. Woods plays it through, like, lots of play along the back. Hampton there, playing the deep player maker. Long ball to Southam, he touches it down well. Wilkins is there to clean up. Kingsbury out wide, needs to get his cross in, doesn't get his cross in again. There's another long ball back. Cobb gets it back up to McSorley, out wide to Woods. Now Woods, what can he do here? Hampton, McSorley, pass it in the middle of the park. Wilkinson here, he's got another long range effort. And that's got to be 30 yards out. Wilkinson pounds it into the equalising net. Superb comeback. Okay, the lads show me they've got some desire for this game. We're slightly, slightly edging possession in the middle of the park there, which is good to see. All along ball through, Morty Hill and cleans that up nicely. We're nearly at half time here. Outright to Spears, he's been struggling for passing all day and continues to struggle. Making that on, plays it through to Clark. Long ball across, Woods needs to get into one of the men there. She gets stuck in, Hughes is on mark there. Hughes volleys it first time into the far corner. That's his second goal of the game. Pretty much unmarked. Had the time to pull off the shot. And that's a bad time to concede. <sighs> what a cup final. Five goals in the first half. And we have another highlight straight from kickoff here. Woods picks out Campbell on the right wing. We haven't had enough time on the right wing here. Lone ball intercepted easily. Lurgan, Hampton. Jeez, it's, it's all going off. Wilkinson takes another long range shot. It's getting a little stuttery here, there's so much action. But now, hopefully, play that back to Morley Hill. And, okay, let's, let's come back into the halftime. I might make a few changes. Yeah, commentator says tremendous match so far. I am less than impressed, conceding three goals in one half against Lurgan Celtic, who we are in the same division as us as well. It's, it's not good enough. Dylan Cobb. Uh, look at our defenders, 5.9, 5.7, 6.1, 5 5.8. That is cup final embarrassment. You know what, Spears is off. His his passing all day long has been shocking. Um, Cobb can go out left. That's He can play there pretty comfortably. I may make a, another change. Um... Our wingers are performing so bad as well, but the fitness is fairly good. Wilkinson has scored a lot of effort, but he doesn't have the fitness to get closer and goal. And I really feel we need to get closer and push higher, because long-range shots are all well and good. And I'm pleased he got one, but I, I need more intent, more attack. Just more effort from these guys. Alright, five minutes gone for the second half. We're a goal behind, 60 minutes gone. Need to see some change in performance. 66 minutes gone. Now I'm having to make another sub. Alright, Kingsbury, you're coming off. 6.2 is really not good enough. This is a cup final, lads. Just do what you've been doing week in, week out. But, you know, <laughs> better. So, I'm going to take the, the instruction, the touchline instruction, take a breather off. We've got 15 minutes left to go. And what's happening? Oh, we're all good. Okay. 
carry on then football manager 10 minutes to go not a thing going on we need a goal apparently we're pounding them with pressure supposedly in terms of stats but there's only five minutes left two minutes of injury time and this is heartbreak hotel Cobb plays it outright to Gary. he's come on as a sub back to Hampton who's been purred today Cobb on the left has been one of the only performing players in defence and loses the, out the ball Murdoch plays it through to Hampton who doesn't get there out muscled badly they're playing long stretching the play across the park and this is game over for the cup this is what I said at the start would be our biggest chance of getting a cup this season a low yeah, and there it is, Lurgan Celtic celebrate what is probably a deserved victory. Can't can't lie, you know, that's pretty gutting. Um, five goals, exciting first half, dreadful second half for any highlights. Um, you know, what, what more can I say? I mean, uh, we take a look at the league, Lurgan Celtic are seventh, we're top, five points clear. That is an absolute game we just should not have lost. Um, in terms of stats, they're just player stats. Let's take a look at the match. Can we take a look at the match stats? Yeah, 15 to 10 shots, 60% um, possession. You know, 80% passes completed. Not from what I saw in the highlights. It was dreadful. Average rating though, 6.7 compared to a 7.1. It's it just was not good enough, and it has to be said, the defence of this team needs shoring up. That is going to be a priority in the off season. When the time comes, we are going to need to get some decent fullbacks in there. Decent fullbacks, well, left back and uh, another a good solid centre back, and we need maybe change and tweak the tactics as well because. You know, there was a lot of long balls punted up. Um, but let's take a look at this. Uh, Banbridge water 2.5 thousand. That's pretty good. Banbridge given another 3 thousand um, despite the defeat. Uh, question for the Banbridge, Jimmy O'Hara. Mark Hugh goes today, can side your team defeat? What sort of effect do you think it losing have? Uh, the, <laughs> well, hope the players have got to react positively. Now we've got three league games go. We got to put that behind us and just win the league. So disappointing today. Let's see if the uh, board are going to sack me over that. I <laughs> would. The couple is uh, not important. Pretty good, but uh, I know how the fans might be disappointed. Yeah, they're slightly concerned about the match. And fair play. I you know I'm slightly concerned. Um, that was perhaps my strongest team and granted fatigue is an issue but must try harder something we got to work on but I'm going to be coming back to you very soon with another video because it's going to be the end of the season shortly we've got a you know promotion playoff rivals game against Weckhurst and the last game against Sport and Leisure that will decide whether we win the league or not that's it all for today Thanks for watching. Disappointment, but the show must go on. Peace.